Today we're gonna to show you how to update your firmware utilizing a Windows PC. First thing is you want to check where your firmware is at on your satellite. So we want to turn the satellite on. This will create a network titled Rat Pack AKS. This is titled Rat Pack AKS because it shares the Wi-Fi module that we also use in our AKS. We can change this later on and that is shown in a separate video. So let's go ahead and connect to Rat Pack AKS. Open up a web browser and enter in the IP address of your satellite. The default IP is 10.10.100.254. Now if you're connected to the network, this will bring you to our Rat Pack Constellation page, which is an overview of all of your settings of your AKS or satellite. So firmware is located on our device management tab. So let's navigate to device management and you'll notice at the top of the device management page is version 3.63 of your Wi-Fi module and 1.g of your SAMD. Now there's two locations on this page where you're gonna update each of those files. But first, we need to download those files. So I am going to connect back to my local network so I can access the internet. I will then navigate to ratpackcontrols.com to access your firmware. Once you get to the main page, locate the tech support tab up top, hover over it, and the drop down menu will give you a firmware option which you want to select. Since I'm logged in already, I get direct access to the firmware. If it does give you a, a screen that shows you login credentials, you're either going to use credentials you've already created or use the right side of the page which will ask you to create your own login and password. This is just for trackability on our end. Uh, please write that down as you will need that going forward for any firmware releases. Since we have access, we're going to scroll down, locate the satellite firmware, 368.1G is what's current. Go ahead and select that to download. And I'm going to open that folder when it's done. Now if I hover into my downloads, this is what will show. It'll show satellite firmware, but it'll be a zip file. So we need to extract all these files, otherwise you will not have access to the firmware that's needed. So let's go ahead and hover over it, right click, extract all. The default destination will be right where you're at in your downloads, which is where it's totally fine. It's where you wanna be. So let's go ahead and extract. And now you can see that you have access to your bin file as well as your disk images, which is what you're gonna need for both of them. So if you notice back in your downloads, in case you lose this window, you have a satellite firmware folder that is unzipped. So that's where you're gonna access these files. Now let's go back to our web GUI. So first thing first, reconnect to Rat Pack AKS. Go back to our web GUI page. Ensure that we're connected just by loading up another page. So we are. Navigate back to device management. We're gonna locate our module firmware section. Choose file. In our download, you'll see that we have our unzip folder. We're gonna look for Wi-Fi module firmware, version 3.68. Select, hit apply. It's gonna prompt you that after you apply, it's gonna restart, so that's okay. Now the screen's gonna go white for a few seconds. Uh, when it's completed with the update, it will prompt you and let you know that it was successful or if there was an error. So give it a few seconds. Okay, update firmware successful, perfect. That's what we're waiting for. And please do not refresh the page uh, in the middle of the update while the screen is white as you will interrupt the update and cause errors. So now that we've updated the Wi-Fi module, we are going to go back to device management. Now notice it's not loading the page. That's because when the, when the Wi-Fi module restarts, sometimes it reverts back to your old um, Wi-Fi that you're connecting to locally. So let's connect to Rat Pack AKS. And then we're going to navigate back to device management. And notice here we have version 3.68 on our Wi-Fi module, that's great. So let's move to the second part, which is the SAMD. We're gonna choose file, locate the binary file here, 1.g, SAMD firmware, select, apply. Are you sure you want to upgrade? Yes. 
And at the bottom of the page, it's going to prompt you when the firmware is completed. So please do not refresh this page during this process as well. Update firmware successful, great. Rebooting will take a few seconds, so give it about five seconds or so. And then just ensure that you're still connected to your satellite by selecting another page, another tab. Okay, we're good. I'm going back to device management. And now we have successfully updated both your Wi-Fi module and your SAMD.